We must now secure Arnhem. Enemy paratroopers control the area and have been holding off German forces for three days now. Elements of the 9th SS Panzer Division have already been laid to waste. If all opposing forces are not neutralized by a Kampfgruppelehr, our enemies will cross the Rhine and into our homeland without opposition. Germany must not be brought to its knees again as it was in 1918. Destroy the occupiers. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Sir Cypher here with Let's Play Company of Heroes. Um, the Panzer Elite Campaign, Mission 6, Arnhem. And um, this is like the third time I recorded this video. If you wonder why I take a while, just because every time I start and I just sort of get uh, bogged down and the video just takes way too long. So I'm going to try and avoid that. British commandos have held the bridge at Arnhem for three days now, giving them clear passage across the Rhine River. Second battalion is embedded throughout the city. Forward observers indicate the enemy has commandeered a number of captured heavy weapons. In addition to these pockets of resistance, the urban terrain of Arnhem is riddled with wrecks and blockades. A clear path may prove difficult to find. Our success has become increasingly critical. Königstiger. King Tigers are in support to assist with blockade removal. Assemble them into combat groups with infantry and advance into the city. I will make additional armor support available once Kampfkoppelea has secured these roads to the bridge. Without airdrops to resupply or 30th Corps reinforcement, the British para forces are now facing grave circumstances. Capturing these two munitions depots will effectively cut off their supply chain and starve out the Englishmen. Kampfkorpelea, it is the time for action. Use the King Tiger to forge a path to the main roads. So, um, we got a King Tiger. Um, they're pretty cool, as you can uh, guess. And um, we're going to be using them. Quite a bit. Um, so we are going to advance. And through the enemy. The enemy, I think, is more AT guns here, but we will flank them with the mighty Koenigs Tiger. The King Tiger, that is. And, um... Should be able to uh, come out on top. Now, I um, mean, yeah, I've, I've actually recorded this a couple times, and every time it just starts to take way too long. So I'm trying to avoid that. We have eliminated the enemy once more. Oops, he's in a good squad size. Trying to avoid that by being very aggressive. Um, with my troops. And we'll see if that works. On the other hand, they could all just die, and nobly. Increased squad sizes are now possible. Enemy unit eradicated. But hopefully instead they'll kill everything, which it looks like they might actually be kind of doing. 
So uh, we're going to try and clear these things. A lot of the British troops will just surrender because they're dirty cowards. Um, but a lot more we're going to have to fight our way through. Infantry reinforcements are mustering. Assault grenadiers moving to the security screen around that tiger tank. Use the troops. Group zeal is an ability I don't think I've discussed yet. It basically makes your um your uh, Panzer grenadiers about I think it's one percent tougher for every um for every other. Pans are going to do that's near them. And not unit, like individual guys. So it makes the individual units better and it also makes their groups as a whole better. Incoming artillery fire. They're using our nets. One of the depots must be supplying those nerve workers. Cut off their supplies. The Brits need the ammo to keep firing. Take them. Time to take these grenadier support. Cover his advance. Oh, God. Surrounding the bodies if you must. Never worth it. The enemy is weakening even now. I hate never worth it. So hopefully, let's see here, we'll drive my King Tiger over there. Oh, this AT gun can hit my bars. We have lost a unit. Hmm, this whole super aggressive approach may not be working that well, but we'll see. Oh wait, shit, can you not actually shoot all the way over there? That's not good. Can they shoot over this little fence? Oh, I guess they can. Okay, so things aren't all tragic. We have eliminated the enemy once more. So I guess my base is getting attacked, but that's not super. It's not super tragic. We have lost a vehicle. And they blew up my half track. But again, not the end of the world. What I really want to do is capture this, um... Capture that point in the middle of the street here. Um, because then I can start getting, um... Oh god. This is brutal. Fortunately, assault grenadiers. Get out of here. So it looks like I'm gonna be able to hopefully capture this. Nope, they blew up my tank. For some reason, they won't shoot at it. It's right in front of you guys. <laughs> I guess we're being assaulted by Jeep Squad. So overall, things could be going better, but um. Gonna keep pushing forward. Now I can turn this into a forward barracks, which is something I really wanted. And I also get some Panzer IVs, which will be very useful. 
Now I basically have two options here. Um, I'm going to go across the road instead of towards that, uh, towards the river. Um, both, both are pretty valid, are pretty valid options, but, um, I think going towards the road is a better choice. Going across the road here. Damn two. Gather the section is being reinforced. Well, the big thing is I need to get my King Tiger repaired. Grenadiers here. And get all of my uh Assault Grenadiers moving to a new location. Assault Grenadiers My Grenadiers all uh, spruced up. Confirm our readiness. Send your mission orders. Um, I'm gonna just try and swing around this whole section of the map with my tanks. Infantry section ready to move out. And we'll see how well that works out for me. Now I'm gonna go tank busters because um, I don't think I've any of the missions have really done that. Tank Busters pretty much just focuses on destroying tanks. There's not anything that's too super crazy in it. But um, uh, most of it's pretty decent. And I'm just going to advance just straight through here with all of my tanks. And I'm going to follow it up with um, the majority of my infantry. The enemy does have 88s, but um, hopefully I could just swamp them with enough tanks that the 88s won't be able to. Uh, won't be able to uh, be effective. You doofus, why aren't you shooting at the, uh, at the 88? So we'll advance over here. Looks like um, mostly successful with the Panzer Assault. So it looks like we can follow it up with the remainder of my reserves and hopefully capture this point in the middle of the map. And we'll build some more. Um, what do we have the least of? I'll build some more Panzer Grenadier squads because I'm going to have plenty. I should have plenty of the other stuff eventually. Holy shit. Die. Alright, so. So at least it looks like I've taken care of those Nebel workers. An enemy unit has fallen to our might. I have just received a report indicating elements of the 9th SS Panzer Division have fallen to the enemy in Niemagen. The Tommies have taken the bridge. The only thing between Kampfkoppelea and 30th Corps is a 20 kilometer stretch of open road on Highway 69. It is now critical to secure the paths into the city and capture that godforsaken bridge. This is our chance to break their backs. Their command and control is being orchestrated from the buildings on either side of the bridge. Secure the area and capture these points. Be swift. Time is not something we have the luxury of. Arnhem is almost ours. Oh my god, what do you guys have to do to fucking capture this point? Hmm. 
The paratroopers' defensive positions are too strong. Secure the supply depots before the main assault on the bridge, and we will drain them of ammo. Grenadiers here. Position noted. Assault grenadiers on the move. Be quick on the Die, stupid AT gun. Hey, they surrendered. Okay, great. left. Move to the grid location, secure, and capture the area. We give up! Hmm. This is probably a pretty bad. I should probably take, like, this house. This house is not already half dead. Oh, hey, I got free stuff. Okay. Fall in. Hmm, last time I, uh, when I played this game, I didn't get the free stuff. It's kind of weird. But anyway. Assault Grenadier standing by. Um. Moving out. If once we get all this stuff repaired, we get my infantry moving ready, we should be pretty good to move across the center of this map. Especially once we call in Hunter. the secret weapon of the, the Hetzer tank. tank is now available. Whoa. Why is my squad of folks almost dead here? Um, the heads are sort of interesting. There is a sort of, um, one of the most famous early war tanks for the Germans was this, uh, Czechoslovakian tank called the CZ, or the Panzer 38. And it was a, um, it was a captured Czechoslovakian tank that the, uh, the Germans kept using because it was really good. And, um, Eventually, by the end of the war, you know, it was not that effective. But they uh, keep kept building them, and they used the chassis for both the uh, the uh, Hetzer and the um, and the Martyr Three. So that's a flamethrower half track. I'm just kind of being silly with it and letting it get killed because. Yeah. I'm not We're that super concerned, system. but I am concerned about away. advancing over here Crew ready. Um, in. to the Enemy north with infantry and vehicles, especially as soon as my uh, King Tiger gets repaired. Hmm, so it doesn't really seem to be eliminated here. the enemy once more. Okay, that's good. So we'll cap for this point. Oh shit, I forgot they have uh OP here. Send some more vehicles. Some more troops over here. To ensure that it is successful. Now, um, somebody asked in the thread, and I, 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 I kind of went over it, but not really that well. The order that you get, um, veterancy upgrades actually does matter for the Panzer Elite. Um, it's different if you get veterancy 1, and then you get veterancy 2. Like, if you get, like, if you get veterancy 1 defense for tanks, and it's different... The, or the order that you get the stuff and actually matters is what I'm trying to say, but I'm articulating it extremely poorly. Um, so two two vehicles with the same upgrades could have different stats just because of that reason. Uh, we'll call in a Hetzer now. Are you shooting at me? A mortar? Uh, an enemy unit has fallen to our might. We 
I don't have AT grenades? Uh oh. I might need to withdraw slightly to a uh, better fighting position. But at the same time, we'll bring my uh, Hetzer tank up onto the bridge here. The position of these enemy mortars is actually really annoying. And actually, I'll probably bring my I'll bring my two Panzer fours back over to the base, and um, I'll have them help uh, take the bottom of the map. Hetzer is a very solid. Uh, um, tank destroyer. Now, uh, one of the coolest upgrades you can get is that uh, you can get the double infantry AT for your troops, which makes your um, tank destroyers uh, have double bazookas, and they throw, and all of your troops throw double AT grenades, which is pretty kicking rad. So I'm a pretty big fan of it. But okay, time to kick this. Time to kick this shit into high gear. Send your orders, sir. <clears throat> I like how this Sherman's even bouncing after we the tiger. So we're gonna head south now. And um we're going to advance. Get ready to cap some stuff. But the Hetzer and the Tiger tank are going to move south, as well as these troops. And um, as soon as these tanks are repaired, these guys are going to start moving east. We're calling another Hetzer. Fall in. Hetzers are a pretty fun tank. They're sort of like uh, one of my... I don't know if this is the right term, but like a fan favorite World War II tank of mine. Hmm, there's a lot of AT guns there. I want to back off there, Mr. Hetzer. My head's are just driving willy-nilly to the street here. Um, at this point, if I lose any of my headsers, it's not the biggest deal in the world because, or if I lose any of my Panzer IVs, it's not like that big of a tragedy because um, I can just replace them with headsers, which are. We have eliminated the uh, about equally as uh, as equally as good. So for their job, which is to uh, kill tanks. So we'll advance through here, finish off some of these last uh, pesky enemies. We have destroyed an enemy unit. Hmm. Where is my Konix Tiger? Mr. Konix Tiger, stop being lazy. Mission order. Moving on mark target. 
So things are moving pretty quickly now. Um, we have a lot of tanks. And, um, Oh yeah, the secondary objective is to blow up these boats, which we will do. It's not that uh, terribly difficult. Oh shit. The supply objectives have been secured. Deploying to new location. Tanks are ready. Break the lights. Maintain fire. The no is going in. Moving out. Group upgrade Taking fire. Infantry destroyed. New target. We are ready for orders. So just advancing, um, sprucing up a couple tanks as we go. Kampfgruppe has secured the second road into Arnhem. The road is now open for reinforcements. Wolfgang, all road objectives are secure. It's only a matter of time until the British come walking out. Form up the combat groups and wait for new orders. Hoffmannberger, we have an incoming radio transmission from Major General Vaz. Patch it through, Deinhard. Advancing to contact. We're taking rocket fire! Ready for orders. Jawohl. Organizing troop for combat. Kampfgruppe has proven its superiority once again. Let's have the ready. Combat move. With me, Grenadiers. Combat patrol. So we'll keep advancing. Oh, we got a Hummel, by the way. The Hummel is now in support. Yeah, so we will blast. Artillery gun. Armed with a 150mm SFH-18 L-50 howitzer. Built on a combined Panzer III and Panzer IV chassis. The Hummel is perfect for now the Hummel when it locks down it doesn't it its biggest advantage is it shoots faster um, which means that it shoots it shoots the rounds come out of the tube quicker so um, the enemy has less time to react to your artillery barrage than they otherwise would um, because it they all four rounds launch so fast and again the Hummel uh, has its artillery is much more powerful than most of the artillery in the game but at the same time it only shoots four rounds and almost all the other artillery shoots six so there's trade-offs obviously but uh, the Hummel's pretty useful what are you lazy kids doing over here advance Let's keep advancing upon the enemy in the martial German spirit. And, um, we're almost done here. We can't get the Jag Panzer, so, or the Jag Panther, and that's a shame. But other than that, um, the Armored Fist of the Reich is advancing upon the enemy. I think the enemy had an artillery emplacement here. So we'll just blast it with the Hummel just to make sure nothing uh, fishy is going on. We'll drive up the road. Kept this fuel point. Enemy unit eradicated. Grenadiers ready. Combat mission dress up. Let's go ahead. capture this fuel point. Loud and clear. Target. Send. Tank moving to fast contact. Hmm? 
Thought I told you guys to decap this. You guys are not very good listeners. All right. We have eliminated the enemy once more. So yeah, nothing, uh, nothing terribly exciting. Um, we've got most of this place secure. And uh, things are looking pretty, pretty good. Assemble outside. Grenadier is ready. Load up. So we'll capture this and uh, finish the mission. Ready for mission orders. Ready to move. Oh no, some jeeps and a brand carrier. Whatever will we do? The enemy is becoming less mobile all the time. on the roadway and call up command. The bridge is open for business. What should we do with all these prisoners? Let's line them up and march them out. All right, so not too bad. Um, we took the bridge back from the, uh, the British. And um, looking pretty good. So, um, thank you for watching. This was Mission 6. We're pretty close to finishing the Panzer League campaign. And then, finally, one day, <laughs> be done with this LP. Um, but either way, have a nice day. And uh, again, thank you for watching.